Hello, this video will walk you through how to take your front view of a t-shirt and create a back view. So once you have your sketch set up for your uh, front view, uh, usually what I suggest students do is using the selection tool, left click and drag a box around all of the pieces of your sketch and group it. You can go to Object at the top and come down to the Group tool, or the shortcut is uh, Command-G or Control-G. This will allow you to move the entire sketch as one unit. And you can always go back and ungroup it afterwards. Um, so to make the, the back view, typically the way that the files are set up for the fashion industry is the front view is on the left, and the back view is on the right. Um, so also, depending on how large your sketch is, of course, you can reduce it. And if you grab the, with the selection tool, grab the box in the lower right hand corner and hold down the shift key, you can reduce or enlarge, keeping the proportions of your sketch uh, constant. So I usually will reduce this down in size a little bit. And then I'll hold down the Option key, and with the Selection tool, left click and drag a copy over to the right-hand side. And I'll modify the right-hand sketch now to be a back view on the T-shirt. So from the image that I have, um, what I will do normally is that I originally worked with to create the front view of the T-shirt, I'll reduce that down in size. And again, using the selection tool, I'll grab the corner, hold down the shift key, and left click and drag and make that uh, image much smaller. And typically, the way that we set up the file for your sketches when you go to submit them is that you'll have a point of inspiration down at the bottom. Uh, and this would be a photograph that you'll use from your assignment one in the information that you've collected. And this is now just a visual reference. It does not need to be still behind your sketches uh, when you go to submit your file. If I come back up to the sketch layer here, um, and oftentimes you'll notice that I will lock and unlock layers as I'm working, just to make sure that I'm on the correct layer um, and not to add any confusion. So with the, the back view here, um, and I don't have the ability to take a look at the shirt um, and see the actual back of it with this image, I have to think about in terms of what would you see from the back view. So the V here is visible on the front. I would not see that on the back. Uh, what I would do is just see a collar line on the back. So what I will do, um, and other people may suggest another way in which for you to work. Um, I'll select this sketch and I'll ungroup the pieces again so that I can move them around. The easiest way to do that would be to go to Object, Ungroup, and then if I click on the background, I can then actually take the back of this uh, t-shirt off to the side. And then uh, using the Direct Selection tool, uh, I will use this as a tool to uh, erase lines that I've created. So if I left click and, and left click directly on that line segment that I want to remove, although it highlights the entire sketch, if I hit the delete key on my keypad, it will actually take away that section. There we go. Um, and if I left click on the background and then left click again on that line segment, even though it's highlighted all of the red, I click directly on that line, hit the delete key, and now I've removed that um, V portion of the uh, sketch from the front. So if I want to just close this, uh, what I can do is actually come to my pen tool and left click on the end anchor point on the left hand side and that will re, um, uh, 
make this line active again, so it reactivates it. And then I can come over to the right-hand side, left-click on that point on the right, drag, and make myself a very shallow curve. So that has given me now the back view of the t-shirt. Um, and if I select it and left-click on the background, um, I can actually see that that is pretty much what the back view on the t-shirt would look like. This portion here that I use for the front, I can select it, hit the delete key, and eliminate that. And then I can save this file. Uh, when I save the file, I will go to File, Save As. And then I usually will save it to my desktop. Uh, and then usually I will suggest that you include your last name in the file name. And then I'll include either a style number or what the garment is. So this is a t-shirt. Um, and I'll click Save. Uh, because I placed this inspiration picture here, in order for uh, you to submit the homework or an assignment and for me to actually see this photo when I open it, you need to make sure that you check the include linked file. If you don't check this when I download your file, this image is not going to be visible. Uh, it's going to say that it's missing. And that's one of the quirks in terms of how Adobe Illustrator works. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. I always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, mark, dot, mark underscore Higdon at FITNYC, and you can always attach the file that you're working on.